for watching. <laughs> Who are you when you're not performing for everyone else? Fox. Hello, welcome to the post-grad diaries. It's definitely been really weird navigating this new space of going from having classes every day to having absolutely nothing really to do. I thought I'd be really excited for this gap quarter or gap year in my life, but it all came so suddenly and I'm still learning how to fill my time. This past week, I've just been holing up in my apartment a lot and my housemates have definitely noticed. They keep lightly encouraging me to go outside and I know I feel so much better after leaving the apartment so I'm trying to find new things to fill up my days and stay productive and still have a routine. So I'm about to head to campus and I have a lot of videos to edit and we're gonna have a productive week. I can't forget to bring this adapter because Yesterday, I walked all the way to the cafe and I forgot this so I couldn't edit. I know once I leave the apartment, I'll be so productive and I'll really enjoy being out and about. But the initial resistance to get out of my comfort space is so hard to leave. <laughs> I got these giant pockies from H Mart. I'm obsessed. They look like this. They're individually wrapped, which is annoying, but it's a giant pocky. Hello, I am back home and it was a pretty productive editing sesh, but it wasn't as productive as I'd like it to be. I have been feeling very anxious about YouTube recently and my housemate has been really helping me process these feelings. I think because I associated my brand so much with studying and being a student that 
when now I'm graduated and no longer a student, I don't know what I want to film even though I have so many ideas. I feel very scared to start something new. The first day that I choose to film the video, the night before, I get very stressed and I'm thinking the whole night about what I want to film and where I want to put the camera. I think a lot of content creators can relate to that. I don't think it's something that's talked about a lot, but there are a lot of internal like brain chemistry changes that happen when you start filming your life every day. Even when I watch YouTube videos now for fun, I find myself comparing my videos to theirs. I wanted to talk about imposter syndrome. I think that's what I'm going through right now. I had an epiphany as I was walking home. I feel very stressed to film because I equate my success with external factors such as how aesthetic my life is or things that I'm doing instead of just me, which is what my videos are. They're about me and what I choose to do in my life. When I gain success, I'm not internalizing it and letting myself know that I did that. When I'm filming, I'm constantly thinking about what can I do to make my video better, more aesthetic, but in reality, my channel should just be about me and what I like to do and that's my whole brand. It's me and my life and my journey. I don't know, I just think it's something that's not very talked about in the YouTube community and it's been weighing me down a lot. I know this is just something I have to work through and I like filming and I like editing vlogs and I like sharing my life with you guys. I just have to remember all the happiness and positivity that comes out of filming in my YouTube channel. From the bottom of my heart, seriously, thank you so much for being here. to call my optometrist because I have no more contacts and I really need some vision soon. <laughs> Hi, this is Michelle. I was wondering if you can send my prescription. We are heading to the gym and it is my first leg day in a while so this will be exciting. <laughs> From the gym, that was the hardest leg day I've had in a while. I have some jojoba oil and I saw this thing that said you can leave it in your hair before you wash it and it's supposed to, and it's supposed to be good for your scalp and strengthen your hair. So I guess we'll try that. <laughs> Look a little crazy right now, but I wanted to talk about something as I wait for this oil treatment to dry. Now that I've graduated, I have so much time to do whatever I want. And before graduating, I was so excited to have all this time and I had so many ideas. But with all this time comes so many choices and so many decisions I have to make. And instead of picking one and going for it and just trying whatever comes to mind, i rather not do it and fail. There is a psychological phenomenon where when there's so many choices, you end up not picking anything at all. And I feel like I'm wasting a lot of time just sitting in my apartment and telling myself that I am recharging when it's not what I want to do and it's not what's best for me. But I realize that not deciding is a decision. You have to decide for yourself that you want this and that you want to do this, whether you fail or not, that you are gonna go for this. I need to and I'm ready to adopt this mindset because I want to see what happens when I really give content creation my all, but I just have to do it. And I don't have to be perfect. I am allowed to fail and I am allowed to learn. I just have to go for it with my best effort and that's all I can ask for myself. Just know that you are doing amazing and you are so capable and you really can achieve anything in this world. So best of luck and I know you can do it.
was a pretty good editing session. I got a lot done. Um, it's currently 1.18, so I'm going to make some lunch. I wish I could have stayed there longer, but on Fridays, they close at 1, so... I was looking through my backpack, and I found some contacts. Thank God, because I was running out. Good morning, hotties. Ah, I'm tired. I added some ice from the coffee we got yesterday. Today, we have a full health fair. I'm gonna be volunteering from 8 a.m. to around 7 p.m. We are going to a cherry blossom festival and helping some clients there get some health pre-screenings. Then after, I have a high school friend's birthday party. So it's gonna be a long but fun day. Wish you were sober. 